What's up guys, that racing game guy here. Soon to be not that racing game guy anymore. I'll touch on that in just a second. Uh, I just want you guys to kind of stick around for a minute here um, while I do an E3 wrap up vlog. E3 is absolutely fantastic. It's my first time being here. Um, as you guys can see, I was on Tomcat's team for E3 this time. Um, hopefully we can both return next year, but it's a little bit too early to say, you know, that for sure, but it was an absolute blast. It was crazy. There's so much stuff here. Um, the show is over, unfortunately. It's only three days, but in those three days, we packed so much stuff in there. Mainly the Forza Horizon 3 stuff, and I know for my channel and Tomcat's channel both, that was like a huge, huge part of it, like a huge thing, and it's I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, me and Tomcat both got to compete in the Need for Speed competition, which Originally, it was just supposed to be Tomcat competing, but they had a couple people not show up, and they literally, I was wearing my Need for Speed shirt, um, if you guys can kind of see it there. I was wearing this shirt, and they, they literally, they came up to me, I was getting ready to play the demo of Battlefield 1, and they literally came up to me and was like, hey, can I ask you a weird question? I was like, okay. And they're like, so do you want to play in the Need for Speed competition on stage live? And I was like, you guys have an extra spot or something? They're like, yeah, we had somebody not show up and we saw your Need for Speed shirt and was like, oh, this guy must know what he's talking about. So I was like, alrighty then. <laughs> so I went and I played. I literally came in, there were six of us. I came in sixth place, but I was having little difficulties and the fact that I haven't played, before that I hadn't played Need for Speed in quite a while didn't help. But Nevertheless, it was a blast. As you guys saw in Tomcat's video, he ended up winning the competition and taking home the custom um, PlayStation 4 Need for Speed like design on it and the white control and everything. It's a beautiful thing. Hopefully, uh, I can have it in, a, in like some future vlogs. But E3 is an absolute blast. Forza Horizon 3, Forza Horizon 3, Forza Horizon 3, absolutely awesome. Uh, as far as like new features I know Tomcat did a stream on his twitch uh, earlier today around like three or four o'clock uh, Pacific time because we are in California for you guys on the East Coast uh, which was pretty successful uh, we had some difficulties some troubleshooting at first but we had, they got it you know all fixed up and he called us back and said hey we got it fixed up come stream so we went and we streamed uh, there's a lot of questions answered, pretty much stuff that we already know that I covered in my last two Forza Horizon 3 videos, which pretty much cover everything. The only other thing that I can think of off the top of my head is that perks have returned and there will be a drone cam, So, and it is a perk. So once you get enough, I guess, I'm not exactly sure, I, I would assume they're doing skill points just like they did in Horizon 2. So once you get enough skill points, get the drone cam perk. Uh, you can actually go to the pause menu, select drone cam, and fly around as a drone. Similar, and it sounds, to me it sounds similar to uh, like the photo mode. So, but I'm sure there will be some differences. I really don't know. I don't know if they know. Uh, you guys actually saw Brian Eckberg, uh, who is one, on the Forza team. He was, he was able to answer most of our questions, but even then, there's a lot of stuff that he doesn't know just because the game isn't done yet. So, more advanced details we'll have to, you know, kind of watch for over the summer. Um, I will probably do at least one or two more vlogs before the game comes out on it, but just with stuff that they uh, release, I can kind of present it and give my thoughts on it. But as far as E3 goes, it's absolutely awesome. Like I said, there's a ton of stuff here. I, I can't even, like can't even begin there's so many booths and vendors and everything um, just absolutely awesome got to meet a lot of awesome people um, but as I said in the beginning of the video I'm undergoing a name change and I am like 99% going to follow through with it I I still want to hear you guys you guys is if that's I guess that's correct grammar but I want to hear all of your opinions on it uh, I'm going to be changing tomorrow night. I'm going to be changing the name from that racing game guy to Mustang Matt 116. Now, the guys that follow me on like Instagram, 
you all know that I'm kind of known around as Mustang Matt, um, just kind of a nickname. And I find it way, way easier um, just to use the the Mustang Matt Woman Six name. And like, I know I posted it to Twitter and Instagram, and it got some positive feedback. But as far as like trying to go to my uh, my that racing game guy Instagram, like I posted to Instagram uh, just to kind of sum it up real quick, so I'm not having to like come up with it off the top of my head again. Um, basically, I said that. The name would represent the channel better um, because I do post more than racing games. I post spin tires and vlogs and car reviews and all kinds of other stuff. And I would like to expand into some other games as well, like beyond racing games, um, possibly, you know, maybe Halo, Call of Duty, um, maybe Battlefield 1 if I get it. So it would, I would be able to expand the channel more. Um, also, it would be a more memorable name, easier to for like people to say because you know Mustang that 116 you know it's it's pretty memorable especially the guys that have been following me on Instagram for a while because I know I know I do have a quite a few subscribers on my personal Instagram page and that's awesome because uh, I like and I do see, I see you guys liking my stuff and commenting and all that stuff um, get DMs every once in a while but so people already kind of know me as that so I feel like it would just be really easy to combine the two. Um, it would allow me to use my personal Instagram and Twitter pages, Mustang Matt One One Six, and just have the one name for everything. It would. I feel it would be so much easier, and it would represent the content of the channel way better. So I am like ninety nine percent going through with it. it. Like I said, it got a lot of positive feedback. So hopefully. Um, Hopefully you guys can kind of adjust to that. I figure it's better to do it now while the channel is relatively small and then grow the channel based on that, which it's just easier. Um, I would I would look at Facebook and I would see if I'm able to switch the, the name on my That Racing Game Guy page over. I'm not sure how Facebook works as far as name changes. If I can name change it, I will. If not, I'll probably delete that page and make a new uh, Mustang Matt 116 page just so I can keep my personal like Facebook friend profile because I, I do and I know like I've gotten a couple friend requests here and there, but I, I do prefer to keep it kind of you know my, my personal thing um, with my friends and stuff. but I will create a fan page for YouTube for sure uh, as far as like, just posting updates for the channel and whatnot and then keep my personal Facebook my personal Facebook as far as Instagram goes I will either keep or delete the that racing game guy page uh, probably I'll probably change the name on it to something else something probably car related so if you guys want to go follow it go ahead but it won't be that racing game guy I will be kind of combining it with my personal Instagram page it will help you guys kind of get to know me a little bit better kind of like Tomcat's Instagram, you know, his his Forest Bird 9700 Instagram. It he posts his YouTube stuff and he also posts his personal updates and you guys kind of get to know him really well and it allows him to kind of announce some stuff on Instagram earlier than he would on YouTube. So, that's my intentions as far as that goes. Twitter, I never really used my Mustang Matt 116 Twitter for personal use. I created it. I had one a while ago, deleted it cuz I never used it. Figured Eh, what the heck, I'll get another one. Created it, really haven't used it much. But I do plan on using Twitter more because Twitter is another great platform to connect with people. So I will be using my Mustang Matt 116 Twitter so you guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, like I said, uh, I'll mention it in a video later on once I get Facebook figured out as far as the name change goes. But... That's really all I can think to cover. I know some, like there's a few of you guys here and there that follow me on Twitch. I don't think I can do a Twitch name change, so I probably am gonna have to delete it and make a new Twitch account. But my description down below will be updated with all the new social media links and everything. Um, same games, more games, hopefully more vlogs, car reviews, stuff like that. But if you guys enjoyed um, all like 
not not just this video, but all my E3 videos, definitely leave a thumbs up on them. Uh, comment down below. Let me guys. Let, uh, 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 wow. Let's try it again. Let me know what you guys think of the name change. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm following. I am following through with it, but I still would like to hear your thoughts on it. Cause who knows? Maybe you guys can. Um, one of you can think of an aspect that I haven't thought of before. So comment down below what you think on it. Um, like I said, if you've enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and uh, for more awesome stuff. Forza Horizon 3, yes, but subscribe down below and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.